regardless of what's going on. Um, I've got this. I'll be showing you how to do this soon. Um, this is... skeletal animation out of blender and into CryEngine 3. Is this this is just awesome it's just awesome. I am uh, very very happy with myself and with myself uh, I've actually uh, just to give you a sneak peek we got three uh, new functions in CryBlend here uh, you'll be able to model and skin it like normal uh, the amount of bones doesn't matter uh, the amount of bones affecting each vertice does but I've got it pretty much down packed here um, Anybody wondering why it took so long? Look up Matrix Math. M A T R I X Math. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, anyway, this is just a short sneak peek. Um, be looking for this here soon. Uh, hopefully, in the next few days. I'm tired. I've still got to make tutorials on how to use this. It's, it's a finicky beast. Um, it's actually not as hard as what you would think because uh, you're not going to have to you'll be adding keyframes for each handle I'm pointing at it like you can see me but uh, you can add keyframes for each handle and uh, make a list of all the keyframes for the fake bones that you add and then go in and choose where you want to add the keyframe for all the fake bones all at the same time. You don't have to select each fake bone and add a keyframe for each movement or anything like that. It just it, it cycles through it and it adds a keyframe for every bone for you. Um, if you'll notice here we got a, a little thing here that's actually a fake bone. The reason why he's off right there in his own little world and as far as CryEngine and the animation export goes, he is in the correct spot because he is bind, bound or parented to this bone and that bone is his zero, zero, zero space. And uh, when you go to, well, I'll explain it when I do the tutorial, but it's working. It's freaking alive man <laughs> I'm, I'm very very happy I've got skeletal animation working with this uh, this is also going to be the uh, same thing you'll use for like rope and cloth things like that um, but anyway like I said I'm tired uh, and uh, I'll do some tutorials I've got to do this a few more times myself just to uh, get it to sink in and uh, we will be okay uh, I've got facial morphs to work on next and uh, a few other goodies that I'm doing for myself oh yeah anim the anim node plays a huge part in this you're gonna have to have an anim node in there for this um, right, well whatever I'll explain that when the time comes um, anyway, that's it. I'm out for now. So, that's just cool. It really is. It's just awesome.